Yeah, I mean, we're emphasizing fundamentals, you know. Um, obviously, as, as an offensive line, you know, we didn't, you know, we, we didn't meet where we wanted to be last year. So, you know, all the things that we're focusing on is going back to the basics, back to fundamentals, you know. Um, you talk about the power running game, you know, schematically we're, you know, running some of the things, same, same things, we're just, just doing it a little bit better. You know, that's the emphasis. Where did you, uh, when you say you play as well as you wanted to, where did you fall short in your eyes? Oh, um, you know, some of our first second down production, you know, um, thought we could have been better in some in some regards at our, at our first and second down production. Um, you know, you know, sometimes when you when you look at the film or you look at the stats, sometimes they can be misleading. And I think that, you know, we got a lot of things to you know to work on um, in the, in that area. Uh, so, you know, it, it's mainly you know hitting it hitting at those points. You know, um, didn't do a bad job on third down, particularly third down and short. But uh, you know, it's just getting that ball started, right? Getting it, getting you know getting 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 the ball started, getting that first down, and putting ourselves in manageable you know third downs. You know, so that's where we are. Are you cold? Okay. <laughs> what, what do you think? Uh, do you think Ethan and, and Bryce and even Turner in that last game sort of got from last year when you look back at it and kind of holding them? In yeah, it was critical, man. It was critical getting those guys those reps, uh, particularly Turner. You know, everybody. But you, know, you, you talk about a guy that's making his first start, um, and you know, just just the the jitters that come along with that, you know, he had got an opportunity to get in in a couple couple other games, but you know, it's that first start and the, the, you know being special and all of that. Now we're over that. Now it's time to play football, right? You know, so uh, and he did a nice job, did a really good job in that last game against Rutgers. You know, he was not. It seems like you know we you know handled it like a you know like man, the man that he, the player that he is. You know, he's a very mature kid and. Uh, you know, we're expecting some big things moving forward from him. Who are the guys that can push this back? Well, I guess it's not going for your whole roster, but who are the guys that can push Turner and Bryce and tackle and kind of line it up to start spreading? Yeah, I mean, we got – there's guys like Brent Banks. Jimmy Fritchie's coming along well. You know, um, a surprise guy, Nuri, you know, uh, transfer from uh, Colorado State. You know, he's, he's stepping out there as well. Um, Ezra Miller stepping out there as well. Um you know, so we, we got a nice little stable of tackles, and uh, you know, Teddy's impressed me thus far. Teddy Prohaska, you know, so you know we got a lot of a lot of young blood out there that uh, that can mix it up. Great. What's, what's the next step for, for Cam and his progression? Is it, is it leadership? I mean, and then where do you want to see it? Yeah, it's leadership. You know, and we're still working on that command presence. You know, uh, being the comptroller, if you will. You know, having control, like having ultimate control uh, of of the of the offense and ultimate control of, you know, honestly his, you know, um, emotions as it relates to giving delivering the snap consistently, you know, um, and, and that's a big deal, you know. So, done a nice job thus far. You know, that's one of the things that we've been really, really hammering on um, as of late. Is uh, you know, when what happens, you know, what are the the tendencies for us to spray snaps because it's not a mechanics deal it's a focus you know it's focus it's first things first that's what I always tell them first things first just make sure we get that snap back and golly man he did a great job over winter conditioning and um, you know getting his body I mean he's one of the best athletes on our team you know so uh, most explosive kids on our team so there's a lot of talent you know now it's just you know some of the intangible things that we're working on with him Doing our job, finishing our blocks, and that's one of the other emphasis as well. You know, Coach Frost, I'll, I'll give him a lot of credit. You know, he's changed up some some of the things that we do in practice. I won't go into detail, uh, but he's allowed us to really emphasize, you know, finish. You know, uh, and you know, through the the first couple of practices, it's been really cool to see, you know, us uh, playing until the end of the whistle. You know, with uh, less emphasis on going fast. 
you know, um, and, and you know that's that's a big that's a big adjustment, you know, as it relates to the boys because you got to take care of the boys in order to do that. You know, if you're not taking care of them and you're just balls to the wall every single play, you know, then there's a fatigue factor uh, that that's naturally built in. You know, but you want to get you want to get more explosive plays, you got to stick on blocks longer. You know, and um, can't stick on blocks if you're tired of shit. <laughs> Yeah, we got, I mean, there's Ethan, there's Matt Sichterman, there's Brock Bando, um, Brent Banks is taking reps, Nuri is taking reps as well, um, Ezra Miller is in there taking reps, you know, that's one of the places, you know, Trent Hickson, you know, who's, who's playing double duty with, with center as well, you know, there's a lot of bodies uh, that we're rotating in at that, at that position uh, to find the best player, but then also the best combination between guard tackle, center guard, you know, so um, that's a that's a good problem to have because, um, you know, iron sharpens iron and, you know, it's one, it's, it's a competition, you know, so may the best man win. What have you learned about Ezra? Scott mentioned him on, on Monday too. Obviously getting here late, you guys are season, getting prepped for a season and game planning. So how much have you been able to sort of learn about him the past couple weeks then this spring? Well, he was, he was here last year. He went through the season with him. Um, you know, he's an athletic kid. I mean, that, you know, he was, you know, highly touted recruited coming out of coming out of high school. Um, you know, you, you, you never know. You know, why a guy comes or transfers or doing this that. But Ezra's been awesome since he's been here. You know, and um, he's been a hard worker. He's athletic. You know, um, he's coachable. You know, so um, there's some things that he's rough around the edges on that we gotta you know really uh, hone in in terms of his uh, uh, of, of his technique. Um, but nevertheless. You know, good player. I expect some big things out of him um, as he's in this program. He develops. What's the, what's the next step for uh, Ben Hart? Be consistent. I mean, there was flashes there last year um, where he was, you know, pretty dang on good. Uh, now it's just about that consistency. You know, naturally, you know, you're a freshman and you're, you know, you're playing your first season. I had to raise your freshman, but, you know, the more reps he gets, the more comfortable he gets. You know, um, the game is slowing down for him, you know. And, uh, you know, as a freshman, especially early in the season, you know, you're, everything is a learn. Like, every, I was like, man, damn, I got to learn that. I got to learn that. I got to learn that. So for him, um, it's being consistent now that he's learned some of the, the natural lessons that you got to learn at that position, you know. So that's what I talk to him about now, you know. Um, you can tell that the things that we repeat, you know, coaching is a, you know, it's a profession of just repeating yourself. And uh, now you can tell that with that repetition, he's, it's, it's sticking. You know, it's not just like going here and going there. It's like going here and it's like jangling around somewhere up there and it's, it's not making out as much, you know, for lack of a better way to say it. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I mean, freaking uh, the the ability to be to move people inside, right? The ability to hold a firm pocket in terms of the depth, okay, and then also to be a, a really good complement to the center and the tackle. You know, um, I, I've been around good players, um, but not good team players at guards. You know, you got to be ultimate team player at the guard position, right? Certainly at the center position, but you know you got to make your tackle better. You got to make your, you, you know, you're you're posting a lot of blocks. You know, um, where, where you're in a double team and you're responsible um, for really establishing, you know, um, the line of scrimmage. You know, so that that's the standard for guards is how well can you can you hammer the line of scrimmage? You know, can you reestablish the line of scrimmage? Can you hold firm in protection? That's the standards and that's the, the qualities of a good guard. Yeah, I mean, I, Trent has been, you know, he's been a guy that's very familiar with, you know. Um, he started all of 2019 season, 
Um, you know, so and probably started, you know, a year too early, you know, but nevertheless, very familiar with him. And, you know, I'm, you know, pretty pumped about where he is as a center. Um, stepping in there, we know Will Farniak ended up transferring. So Trent stepped in there and, and he's done a, a really good job um, of learning that position and also learning, you know, all the intangibles that comes with that position. You know, guard is a position that he played, you know, he got a lot of reps at, you know, um, throughout the years, you know, so it's just that familiarity. And then, you know, obviously, honestly, Trent is, has played all three positions inside, left guard, right guard, and center, you know, so uh, a lot of value in that, in, in, in him, uh, in this program. Uh, and so we're, we're looking forward to seeing, you know, what he can do. Yeah, we got some we got some good things planned for those guys. Those guys have done a great job. You know, we're changing up some of the backfield sets. You know, um, to really get those guys coming a little bit more downhill. You know, so um, we're excited about that. And those guys are talented players. You know, um, you know they're they're different players. You know, step. We talk about Marquise Urban, uh, but uh, but nevertheless, you know, good players. I mean, we see some really good things out of those guys already. You know, we just do our job. Heck, those guys look even better, right? So that's our emphasis. What, what is the, how much can this offseason help in terms of just the you know, offensive staff, obviously, back out here last year and then the pandemic shut things down on the down here. So how's that process been this winter? And yeah, it's been, it's been awesome. Um, we've, we've had an opportunity to look at what we did last year, look at what we did since we've been here, right, in some, in some regards, um, and then – you know, with us being uh, not being able to go on the road recruiting, we've been we've been able to do some research, you know, and look at ways to kind of tweak the things that we do uh, to make them better and really coach it through a lot of detail, you know. So many times, sometimes you kind of put something new in, and then you know you're like learning all the lessons like after you do it wrong for 1,500 times, right? Now you know we've kind of uh, worked out the kinks, if you will. Um, so that's given us an opportunity between Coach Frost, Coach Lubick, and all the offensive staff to to really be on the same page more um, in what we're doing. Sorry, I already got asked about Turner, but with the end of the season last year, that start, did that, did that do something for him as far as pushing him into winter conditioning and, and where do you see him in coming into the spring? Yeah, I mean, like I said it earlier, he, you know, it's the, the first game jitters of, you know, the start and all of that. You no, know, he's past that. He's a very mature kid. Um, he was mature when he got on campus, you know, and, uh, you know, he's always kind of held, you know, held this demeanor, you know, where, where you know, kind of he always saw himself in that role. So uh, as he approached offseason, you know, he kind of kept on that same mentality. And, you know, now he finds himself in, as the guy, you know, it's, it's not different. You know, he's prepared himself way before now for that role. So excited about him and excited about what what his future's look future looks like here